know, I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. so nobody can hear you. All right. Wait for a couple people to join and all that jazz. This is a perfect example of how much she lies. She said to whoever she was talking to, it's not rolling so nobody can hear you. And in the same breath said, wait for a couple people to join and all that jazz. Obviously, whoever she was speaking to and anybody who was watching could tell she lied. She knew it and she gave zero fucks. Like she just doesn't care when she tells a lie. She recognizes that she lies but thinks there's no problem with it. She feels it's completely fine for her to tell a lie, but then the tables turn and when someone else lies, it's an issue. Yes. Um, oh yeah, they're loud on purpose. Hold on. Oh, you mean like how you're loud on purpose all the time? We offered them in. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay. If people still falling for those COVID schemes, they're dumb. Yeah, because the 688,000 people in the United States who died from COVID died just to inconvenience you. Anyways, um, get the fuck out of here. Uh All the goddamn people that have contracted COVID, why hasn't this bitch? I'm convinced that she's so filthy that the bacteria living on her is stronger than the COVID virus. Uh, okay, so, um... I'm not saying when, I'm not saying what day, but yeah, everything that's been texted me is gonna get presented to the police. Like, Are you saying that to scare people? Because it kind of makes me laugh. Look, I don't agree with people texting her for the most part. There are some that, you know, it's funny, but for the most part, especially those Karapinga texts, it's ridiculous, it's stupid and juvenile. But the police aren't gonna do anything about it. They're, there's nothing illegal about it, first of all. And second of all, you expect them to waste their time on people sending you text messages calling out your bad behavior come on now like i'm tired of y'all uh everything like i don't care like y'all are lame and y'all are goofy and this whole game that people are playing to try to get me to feel like i'm missing out on some shit i want to stay away from it's not working it has not worked and i don't know how many ways i can show y'all if you didn't care those texts wouldn't upset you you wouldn't get so worked up over it and you sure as hell wouldn't be talking about it as much as you do i don't care you do care. I don't care. You definitely care. And, like, leave me alone. Yeah, I'll get right on top of that. Right? Um, so, we're in Tampa. And I'm out of my business. And we'll see what happens and if this works out. If it doesn't, I'm leaving the country. It's not going to work out. And you might leave the country, but not for more than a month. You'll be right back. Want to know why? I'm bored with y'all. You're bored or you're mad that you can't get over on people the way you used to? Like, I don't, like, there's nobody here that I give a fuck about. There's lots of people here you give a fuck about. The problem is they don't give a fuck about you, and that hurts your little feelings. So you're throwing another fit. What you fail to realize is there's not a single person that's going to beg you to stay in America or stay in Tampa or stay anywhere. Because there's not a single person that desires to be anywhere near you. It's hard to find someone that doesn't have a single person that cares about them. But then there you are. You care so much about what so many other people are doing. But because of your actions, the way you treat people and the way you behave, there isn't a single person on the face of the earth that cares about where you are, what you're doing, or how you're doing it. Not one single person. 
And I need y'all to really understand this. There's nobody I'm waiting on. Not a fucking soul. Nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody. That's what you keep saying, but we can tell it's not true by who you talk about and how often you talk about them. I'm not waiting on nobody. I'm trying to mind my business. You couldn't simply mind your business if that business paid you a million dollars an hour. You're far too worried about what other people are doing, who they're doing it with, and why they're doing it. Basically, you're just obsessed with anything that's not your damn business. And I have to deal with idiots and weirdos that want to insert their bullshit into my life story. There you go. You said it right there. Story. You're making up stories about your life. And what you have a problem with are the people who are telling the truth. You hate yourself and your life so much that the truth is offensive to you. And rather than changing yourself and your life to reflect something you can be proud of, you prefer to make up lies and untrue stories, but then get furious when people point out the inconsistencies or the truth simply because the truth makes you so uncomfortable. Because they're ill-informed or they're pussy. It's only one of the two. Only one of the two. Ain't nobody came and did nothing. To make nothing happen. And as many times as I said, hey, I get it. I see what's happening. I get it. I understand. I'm good. People just can't let it go. And so what it tells me is that they have a problem. And they refuse to get help with this problem. So a bunch of that doesn't even make sense. But pretty much, she's talking about herself right now. But projecting it onto others. And all they want to do is keep projecting the problem onto me. Because obviously she's not the problem in her own life. It's everyone else. Everyone else is the cause of her problem. And I don't give a fuck. Oh, but you do, though. I'm trying to move on with my life and be boring. You've always been boring. It's the cousins and checkout time that made things fun. And people keep trying to give me information I didn't ask for that I don't care about. You do care about it, though. If you didn't, you wouldn't pay it any mind. You just ignore it and move on. But you sit and dwell on it because you care a lot. And if they don't care about me and I'm a loser and in the industry, but why the fuck are you talking to me? Who's talking to you? We're talking about you. Bitch, I don't care about none of this shit y'all doing. I'm trying to mind my business and be boring. Again, if you didn't care, you wouldn't talk about it. I don't care. Yes, you do. And y'all making me ashamed to be an American because you people are stupid. We're stupid? Uh, I got cast if I cast if I cast if I cast if for it around my birthday. Experience a death that was that close to us. A death, a death, a death that was that close to us. Me further know he's part of the people surveillance in me. Well, surveillance in me. Well, surveillance in me. Well, surveillance in me. Well, she's gonna need, you know, a humiliation ritual. A humiliation. A humiliation. A humiliation. I'm an adult. An adult. An adult. An adult. An adult. And adults talk through things. And unrequited love. Unrequited. 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 All of the water signs got unrequited love cards. Unrequited. 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 They all came up. Uh, anonymity. Uh, anonymity. Uh, anonymity. Whoa. Well, the former anonymity. Or anonymity. Or anonymity. Did you even learn English? And don't get me started on your grammar and your spelling. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a horrible speller, but damn, you can't even pronounce normal words. Like, like, like I want to be in a, I want to be in a country where people just care about regular stuff and they so busy being farmers and living off the land and minding their business that they ain't got time for social media games and goofy shit. Y'all can keep all of that. Says the bitch that's so addicted to social media that she believes celebrities are talking to her through her, their posts. I don't care. I'm not re-downloading Instagram no more. How many times have we heard that? It's over. Like I said, the two accounts I had, those will be sitting up there. All of them other accounts, they are fake accounts by bother people. There you go, Miss Speaking again. They're amazing accounts by hilarious cousins. I told y'all what it was a year ago and people didn't listen. I said it two years ago and they didn't listen. They want to keep remixing it and trying to make it convenient. But then they double back and keep contacting me. Why the fuck what, did I want to see this? Well, you know you bothered. I really don't. I really would have killed him if I had the opportunity. See, that's the energy you need to keep when you're doing your fake Christian shit. What happened to God sees all and turn the other cheek and all that? Or is that only when it's convenient when you need to drum up new little followers for donations? And I'm not joking. I'm really not joking. So I, I want to be nowhere near this person. Please stop texting me about all that shit. You wouldn't know what to do if you stopped getting those texts. You love them. It's not like they're sending you stuff you haven't seen before because we all know that you follow all these people privately on one of your little fake accounts. But without getting those texts, you wouldn't have anything to post 
to try and get people to feel sorry for you. Don't act like you don't like those texts. You absolutely love them and you depend on them. I don't care. I said last year, you know what? I'm a mature person and I don't see this ever working out ever. I don't see this ever being what I really want out my life. So yo, y'all go and do whatever y'all doing. Hey, congratulations. That wasn't good enough. Somehow I have to still be involved and I, like people want me to care. I don't yes, care. Yes, you do. Then I was like, yo, y'all get married. Like present her a ring and call it out of life. No, they haven't done it, but they still want to text me about it. One, you know damn well it's not them texting you. And two, they don't need your permission to get married. Why the hell would they need the permission of some loony ass homeless bum to get married? Additionally, if you don't care, how do you even know that they are or are not married? And why do you care that they're not? They're going to do it on their time, not yours. But please continue complaining and going on about how much you don't care. That way when you're eating your snot and crying on their wedding day, I'll have more footage to make videos with. Here's where y'all are stupid. This ought to be good. Y'all texting me about somebody who I allegedly never slept the with. The allegedly isn't necessary. Who I don't know. Correct. Whose number was in my phone, but they changed you it. You mean the number you made up and then saved under his name? And y'all are telling me that they don't know me, they don't talk. Okay, so why are you sending me pictures? Because the way you get worked up about it is absolutely fucking hilarious. And you know, the whole concocting an entire relationship, engagement, multiple weddings. Houses, vehicles, cups of coffee, record contracts, meals that he supposedly gave you. All the shit that you made up about it makes it that much more funny. Also the fact that you completely seem to have blocked out the fact that you made up all these lies and acted like he was bad walking on earth for a year and a half. It's pretty hilarious too. To bother you. It's not bothering me. You're bothering you me. that was just a complete contradiction. They're bothering you by telling you things that you don't want to hear. So it is bothering you. Whoever you are. I don't even care. Like, and so since y'all don't care and I don't care, we have to find a solution to this. We don't have to do anything. Because y'all don't care. I don't care. But it won't stop. So maybe an investigation into who the fuck is contacting me will make y'all care? Oh, good luck with that, though. Maybe purchasing a reverse email software so I look up who name and who did what and what IP address sent me that shit will make you Not care? Not at all, but like I said, good luck with that. Y'all know everybody's cell phone numbers have serial numbers and shit, right? Really? Whether you have an Android or an iPhone. And it doesn't matter if you take out your SIM card. Why anyone need to take out their SIM card? Nobody's doing anything illegal. You're not gonna get anywhere with your little investigation that you think the police are gonna do for you. The serial number on your device is always the same. And that's what the phone company uses to give you service. Okay, and anyone over the age of about 10 knows how cell phones work. Y'all know that, right? Okay, hey man, so do we need to go there? Do it. I double dog dare ya. Since y'all want to behave like fools? Who behaves like a fool? I'm an adult. Cussy, no. I'm an adult. I'm getting discouraged. I'm an adult. I did that. I did that. I did that. I'm proud of myself. Who is it that acts like a fool? articulate and express that I don't give a damn I don't I'm not I don't go live life in back in reverse I'm not going backwards You're kidding right now right there's no one on this planet that is more stuck in their past than you you stop maturing at the age of 12 but you somehow can't grasp the fact that it's not 2005 anymore I don't you care have, and you do make it painfully obvious that you care a lot if it's lit and they have do do it get money have fun Get her pregnant. Put a ring on her. Be responsible. You're almost 50. There you go. You went on and on about how you don't care. But in the next breath, shared your thoughts about it. If you didn't care, you wouldn't have thoughts about it at all. Quit lying and admit you care. You care a lot. Or, or, court la la like.
like you've been doing. <laughs> you don't care, but you're making up lies trying to start problems. The funniest part about it is you'd think that any of these people actually watch your videos. <laughs> They're going to hate me. I don't fucking you care. You made an entire video to talk about how you don't care. That just shows how much you really do. And the thing is, you're sitting here talking about them, making videos about them. They don't even realize you're alive. How pathetic does one person have to be to spend their Saturday evening making a video trying to convince themselves and the world that they don't care about someone who doesn't even realize they exist? Like, when everybody was roasting her and booing her for her performance on the last season of Power, everybody had attitude. I still defended you, whack motherfuckers. Just to be receiving these text messages. You know damn well those text messages aren't coming from anybody you're talking about. The fuck for? I was actually a fan and, and all this other shit Is previously. Is that storyline you're going with today? Trying to big up people. Yo, that's a sister doing her thing, alright? Just to receive these dumbass text messages. That just show you how snaky and two-faced... And ignorant the only people person are. looking ignorant is you for thinking we believe that these people are texting you. You know, and we know, these texts are coming from someone else. There isn't a single person that you're talking about that would even take a second to text you if they knew who you were. And that also shows you, you know what, don't even waste your time trying to acknowledge people. Because in the end, they show who I they are. like how you've shown everyone who you are in the beginning, middle, and still now but you somehow still believe that people are going to fall for your lies? A bunch of self-absorbed narcissists that want you to be bothered about them. They want you. I don't fucking care, yo. Do what you're doing. It's obvious what you're doing. So just do that shit and be happy and call it a life. Damn. The people you're speaking about are doing them. They're living their lives. They're happy. And they don't have a clue who you are. They're not watching your videos. They're not listening to what you have to say. They're not impressed with you. Nothing. For at least five hours a day, you put so much energy and effort into these people who have no clue who you are. And somehow you're too blind to realize what a clown you're making yourself look like. You used to be squat, SpongeBob SquarePants before you got surgery. Be grateful. The fuck? People are so annoying, dude. I'm sitting up here like, okay, now what country can I go to without needing a visa? My passport is good. I don't have to be bothered with these niggas. Like, what else do I need to do? To further illustrate and articulate, I don't give two fucks, and y'all could just do what y'all want to do. That every video you make and almost all your actions prove that that's not true. And you do literally anything you can think of to get their attention or gain clout off their name. It just makes you look like more of a clown when you start talking like this. You can run to every city in the United States or any country you can get yourself into. It's not going to change the fact that you can't escape what you're running from because you're running from yourself. I mean, it's not like y'all need my blessing or, you know, you nothing any goddamn way. were acting like they did about a minute and a half ago. So why the fuck are y'all contacting, contacting me? You. But you know that. You're just pretending to act like you think it's them for the clout. I don't care. Just go do whatever you finna do. Why just do the shit. Why are like they're gonna watch this? You can't possibly still believe that you're fooling people. You need you a mommy at this age? Do. I'm your mom. Go do it. Do whatever you want to do. Go be happy. Because they're totally watching your videos. No, I'm not. Nah. Goodbye. Like, go do that. Go wash some dishes. I will. Don't worry about that. Like, telling me that is nothing. If you even listen to my stand-up, I always talk about dishes. It's what I like to do. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I ask for what I'm doing. Because I know what I'm trying to do. your way onto a millionaire dick. You don't, and who cares? You, you obviously care like a lot. None of that shit ever bothered me, nor did it make me a break, man. story you're going with today? And at the end of the day, when I was minding my business in Redondo Beach and doing what I love, I ain't had to deal with none of you motherfuckers. You didn't have to deal with your dad who was paying your rent, though. And I still don't have to deal with none are of you, you motherfuckers. Are you talking to 50 and all the other celebrities, or are you talking to the cousins? Because you do have to deal with the cousins. You don't have anyone else in your life. It's us or nothing. And we all know you can't deal with nothing. That's why you make these videos multiple times a day. Again, 50 and all the other celebrities you like to talk to or at. Yeah, they don't know who you are and they're never gonna watch one of your videos. Y'all thought I was gonna play myself. Y'all thought I cared about being friends you with you. You play yourself daily and you care a lot. It's the reason you're in the position that you're in right now. Y'all thought it, it really mattered to me. I, if I that take were the case, it. you wouldn't have ran away from home to chase dick around New York City four years ago. And you've been lying and crying about that man every single day of those four years. You do that. I don't care. 
So continue to do your social media games and, you know, hopefully y'all get picked up on another reality show so y'all can get those coins and keep being annoying. But for right now, in case you don't understand English, I don't give a fuck. Inflation. You give lots of fucks. Go no, do you. Not listening. Go be they happy. happy. They're out living their lives while you're sitting on a park bench making videos about them that they'll never see. Take all that shit out and do it. Don't send me no more text messages. I'm sending you text messages, emails, AOL instant messages, smoke signals, BBMs, Facebook messages, DMs, telegrams, telepathic messages, letters, nothing. People don't attempt to contact bums who they don't even realize exist. I don't care. I'm gonna just keep telling you how goofy you are. Because that hurts so much coming from a clown. I'll start making memes of yeah, your old body. because your memes are just as good as your singing. Before people invested their little pensions and shit into y'all. How the hell is someone who doesn't even have $20 gonna talk about your little pensions? Do you even know what a pension is, bitch? Because I'm that, you I'm that goofy. You are kind of goofy, but you're mostly just a weirdo. Y'all can take little screenshots of me when in the middle while I'm in the middle of speaking and put my eyes rolling back. I'll post your real body. That's my real body. I'm damn proud of it. But all those screenshots you're talking about are your real face. You realize that, right? Nothing's altered. That's what you fucking look like. And what you looked like before, before you went I under went the under knife. Before knife, you mean before my cancer surgeries? Please do. Because other than about 10 pounds, I look the same. But I guess you're talking about those famous people that you're dying to get the attention of. Go ahead and do that too, because on the worst day of their life, they look better than you on your best. With your goofy ass. Get some self-esteem and stop One, talking to me. I'm not talking to you. And two, you're yelling into a phone at celebrities who don't realize that you exist. But you keep going on talking to a phone about other people's self-esteem. Bye! Just goofy and weird for no reason. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways. And of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 